at the Emmys, you had a fantastic brand new look. You had a lot of hair, you had um, like a ponytail. Right, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, I have a brilliant hairdresser, Jonathan Henusak, and, and David DeLeon, who does my makeup, and they spent a whole day. <laughs> we decided to have a good time, and they're really good at it. Have you done that look before? Yeah. You have? Yeah, I, and I've done it, like, I did some yoga videotapes, and I, I had a long braid like that. Uh, we don't have that one. As you know, Portia does your stuff all the time. She loves your workouts. Well, it shows. Yeah, they're really good, yeah. She looks pretty good. She does look yeah. good. Um, <laughs> you're right. Um, so, uh, so at the Emmys, there was a reunion of uh, Lily and Dolly and you, and people went crazy. I know, wasn't that amazing? Well, it no, was... I mean, obviously, they'd go crazy, the three of you. I think you should do another movie. I think the three of you should remake 9 to 5. <laughs> I mean, a whole current version. Right, but at our ages, either we'd own the company or we'd be in a retirement home. So well, we'd have to be. <laughs> actually, that's a really good idea that Maybe you're in that a retirement a home. Nowadays, though, it wouldn't be called nine to five. It'd be called, what would it be called? Like, five to nine. Yeah, yeah, or <laughs> five to 11 or something. Yeah, five yeah, to nine, that's five good. Five to nine. And a retirement home and the five guy running it. Give me a. F yes, yeah. we did it. Five to nine in a retirement home, and the, the guy running the retirement home is the jerk. <laughs> Come on. Right, okay. Well, <laughs> I thought I had something. M maybe you do, I'll think about it, and you'll get a piece of it. That's it what is. I'm saying. Yes. All right, and when's the last time the three of you have been together? Uh, well, we were together when we presented the Mark Twain Award. Yes. And then I go to Dolly's concert, so I've seen her at her concerts, yeah. and I always go backstage. Yeah. And, yeah, no, we all get along and love each other yeah. a lot. Um, so you have, and I say this to you every single time, but I think it's worth saying because in this business, there's a, the fact that you are successful, still working, still look as great as you do, and there's the stigma of, of numbers, especially with women in this town. Mm -hmm. And you are about to have a big birthday. 80. Mm -hmm. Yep, 80. <laughs> Well, you know, here's the thing. If, you, if you're 20 and you don't think you're going to live past 30, <laughs> then when you realize that you're going to be 80, it's like a miracle. Yeah. I don't know how come I survived. And yeah. I'm normal and I'm not a drug addict. Yeah. Yet. No. Always... <laughs> <laughs> not yet. No. I, I do feel like I'm just starting out. Isn't that weird? Yeah. I didn't expect that. So you had, like, because I know you've talked about this before, it feels like a whole new wave of energy and a life force for you right now. I guess. I'm certainly working a lot. I yeah. never expected that to be the case. Yeah. You know, Grace and Frankie is a, <laughs> thanks, is, is a, is a big hit. Yeah. I know, it's a big hit and feel, it's so good. So Lily and I have promised each other that we were gonna stay healthy so we could do it forever. Yeah. If Netflix wants us. Well, you should. Every you, time she gets a cold, I get scared. Our souls at night, so sweet. So this is the fourth movie you've done with Robert, and uh, tell everybody what this one is about. It's about two old people who live in a very, very, very small town in the Great Plains. It's based on a book by Ken Hare, beautiful book, wonderful story. And they don't really know each other, although they do live kind of close to each other, but he was involved earlier in his life in a scandal. And I come to his house to, I'm lonely, I'm a widow, at, to ask him to sleep in my bed at night. And, you know, and we sleep in the bed at night and talk. <laughs> and right. talk. Right, right. It's a good idea. It can go further than that. <laughs> right, <too>. exactly. <laughs> I understand that you weren't really happy with the love scene. Well, there is, eventually, a love right. scene. No, I, well, I mean, I was happy with it. I'm unhappy because it was so short. I see. <laughs> I see. That's what it is. But you've been in bed with uh, how I've many? I've been in bed with oh, Bob so a lot. many. Yeah, yeah, with him a lot. Yeah, a lot. So you'd think that y'all would be in bed longer. Look, I mean, so you did. Which which movies have you done God, with him? God, wasn't he gorgeous? Oh, yeah. I did the chase. That was our first movie together. Mm hmm And then Barefoot in the Park. We were in bed a lot there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah. Yeah. I remember that we had some yeah. time. But you know, it's funny, in the, in the sort of two thirds of the way through Our Souls at Night, the last one that I did with him, there's a scene where we, I think he decides that the time has come and he invites me to come to Denver and stay at this hotel and we're checking in and it suddenly hit me. I said, Bob, did, does this remind you of anything? And of course he didn't remember. And I said, barefoot in the park. This is the second time that we're checking into a hotel never having slept together before. I mean, it's unusual, yeah, right? Yeah, it is. It's I, amazing. I just thought that was so fabulous. I know. <laughs> it's a beautiful movie. It's called Our Souls at Night. It'll be available on Netflix Friday.